The tiebreaker, yeah, the first set was crazy. Um, the tiebreaker was a bit weird because uh, I had a really hard fall to go up 6-4. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm fine. It's 6-4. And then I kept going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think uh, what was key is that we started the second set really strong. So we got to that three-love lead. And I think that helped to carry us to the end. And they couldn't quite catch up. So I think it was, um, yeah, a good testament to our focus today. Yeah, even though it was really nerve-wracking. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Tremendous. <clears throat> Dave from Radio New Zealand, um, Aaron in particular, mm. when you, when you, when that last ball went out, mm. what was that thought? It was, was it disbelief or was it just like, oh my, wow, that's finished, we've done it? Mm. Good question. Um, I don't know what it was. <laughs> I think I was just, you know, so happy, kind of relieved in a way like it's just a lot like you're you're putting a lot on yourself in those moments um obviously we both haven't won a slam before but like I think we believe that we could do it and so then when it's like right there in front of you you're kind of just like oh my god it's there and you're trying not to think about that but you are um I would just say it was like pure joy mostly yeah Craig Aaron um the historical aspect of what you've achieved <laughs> Has that crossed your mind? And, and if it has, as far as New Zealand tennis is concerned, mm -hmm. um, what are your thoughts there? Then the, the last Kiwi to win a major was Judy Challoner, the Australian Open doubles in 1979. Wow. Wow. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know if I knew that. I think maybe you guys told me the other, um, the other day when we were in the finals. Um, yeah, you know, that's why you play, I think. And um, I'm super proud and happy to fly the New Zealand flag every single week. Um, they have been so welcoming, you know. I, I have one of my main coaches is in Auckland. I go there every December for my off season, obviously. Um, born there and lived there till I was four or five. And then also having the Canadian connection. But I... I uh, yeah, I haven't really thought about the history part of it, but I'm just really proud. And, um, yeah, I hope I can, you know, continue and, you know, make even more history for New Zealand for sure. Andrew. Andrew Jones, ESPN, ASK, Aaron and Gabby, congratulations on the slam. Gabby, your second slam as well. And just want to ask you, when did you feel the ENG combination that this was a partnership that was going to lead to something like this, or possibly something like this, as well as the coordinated jumping celebration that you did at the end with the trophy. I need to correct myself <laughs> first. You have won a slam, mixed slam. First woman's slam, women's doubles. <laughs> women's doubles. <laughs> <laughs> All good. All good. All good. Um, when did it start? Um, <laughs> we just started. Yeah, we feels like we just started. But but really, I mean, we had a pretty good start in Montreal, in Cincy. We had some good wins. Um, you know, in Cincy, in particular, our first round when we beat Shibahara Aoyama and they had just won Montreal. I thought that was like a good indication that we could hang with the, you know, one of the best teams in the world. And um, our, our second round loss was a heartbreaker. It was really close. And we lost to that team again in Cleveland. But we... Yeah, we beat some we beat some great teams um, along the way into this tournament and also at this tournament. And I would say for me, it started I think when we actually beat uh, Aoyama Shibahara and Sensi. The belief, um, like the true belief, because I believed before, but when you have a win like that, it kind of solidifies. Oh yeah, okay, like my instincts are right, you know. Um, and. Then I think we also had some really good conversations, honest conversations coming into this tournament. We had the tough loss in Cleveland, which kind of made us put everything out into the open. And I think uh, I'm really grateful to Erin for having the honest conversations with me. And, and I think she feels the same way. And it helps us come into the matches on the same page. And I think that's reflected in our results this week because even though we faced a lot of adversity in a lot of our matches from slow starts to momentum shifts to the crowd being completely against us, we really stuck through it together. And so 
yeah, I think uh, I think it's it's really cool what we've been able to do in a short span of time. And if I may add, um, just in terms of before that Montreal match, where you thought how as a partnership, what made you think before you stepped on the court with each other that you two would be a symbiotic partnership and be ideal for each other? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, hmm. I've watched Gabby for years and obviously known her for a really long time. Um, and kind of, you know, idolized her. She's been, like in the interview after the match, like she has been flying the Canadian flag for the doubles for a, a, a long time now. Um, and yeah, I always, you know, I really liked her game. And I thought, um, yeah, I just thought that we would be good together. And a lot of the, on being on a doubles team, a lot of it is personality as well. And like doing, um, like giving your partner what they want and they <laughs> kind of giving you what you want, but also, in the same way, sometimes giving you what you don't want. And that's like the honesty, I think, is like um, things you don't want to hear necessarily. So yeah, I don't know. I, I've I've always loved Gabby's game and I thought, oh, I could play well with Gabby. And so I just, I mean, I texted her. <laughs> How you doing? Adesina Quirky, usopen.org. Congratulations, ladies. Um, you. you forced the chemistry so quickly. Uh, one moment in the match, uh, the uh, dueling overhead uh, that you hit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was probably one moment that wasn't, you know, so perfect with the chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but, but uh, Gabby, you mentioned that, you know, it was nerve-wracking. Like, how, for the both of you, were you able to at least just compose yourself in the biggest women's doubles match of your dreams? For me, mostly, I was just pretending it wasn't a final because I know that I can get in my own way uh, mentally. And so I really just was like, hey, this is like first round of the tournament. It's rained. We've been moved indoors onto Ash because that's happened to me before here where I've played on Ash because it's rained. And then there was a break in the singles. And so we've gotten moved onto Ash. So I kind of put myself in that position. And I was like, all right, this is just like any other match. Because I think if you think too much about the result, you can definitely take your foot off the gas or overpress. There's kind of like a fine line between the two. And um, I just wanted to kind of play within my range. And then, you know, if I could support Erin in any way that I could and she could support me in any way that she could, we had a really good balance, I think, overall. Yeah, except that one mishap. I just was really excited. She hit a great overhead, and I was like, yeah. And then she was like, mine. I was like, what? Like when we crashed into each other, and we still made it. <laughs> it wasn't a great shot, but it's, at least it went in. It did, yeah. <laughs> Court. Congratulations, ladies. Just for each of you individually, what does this title mean? Um, I can retire happy at some point now. <laughs> That's what it not means now. to me. She's not retiring not, now. Not now, <laughs> but at some point I can retire relieved. <laughs> um, yeah, I think kind of everything. I'm, it's hard to answer that right now. I'm just a little bit in shock. Um, yeah, if you had told me like a month ago or like two months ago that this year I, like, I, um, I was going to win a slam, I would have been like, you're insane. Like you're an actual crazy person. Um, me too, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've really struggled both separately. Um, and yeah, I don't know. This is like literally why you why we play, why we started playing tennis when we were little. Um, oh, mm. that's enough for me. <laughs> Dave, last question. Uh, that tie break, talking about momentum. There was four points for you guys, then four for them. Mm. It was all over the place, pretty much. We were up four zero. Yeah. yeah. And then they won four in a row. Yeah. Oh my god, that just shows. I'm like. I'm just like, see the ball, hit the ball. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I was thinking of everything. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know it was that. Messy, right? It was, it was messy. Yeah. 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 Tough in a slam final against an experienced team. I think it's gonna always gonna be messy. I think you know any slam final, any everyone wants it so bad. You're, if you were to go out there and win two and two, and play amazing tennis, like that would be the weird thing. That would be so weird. Yeah. So I think we prepared. You know, we visualized and mentally prepared for messy, and I think. I guess it worked. I don't yeah. even know.